Hey, hey everyone, it's Tara here. Okay, ah, I'm so excited to talk to you guys today. I am going to be talking to you about uh, your first post as a coach and getting used to the whole inviting process. So I think I'm the perfect person to talk about for this because I struggled for the first six months of my business. So I'm just going to tell you that right out the gate. Um, I struggled with the concept of inviting people. Like I, I really, really struggled with it. So I'm going to talk to you guys about this because I really had to come out of my shell. And once I did that, it accelerated my business so quickly. So we are super excited for you that you have decided to join this team and we want to encourage you to go all in right from the get-go i'm telling you from experience go all in right from the get-go and not necessarily just in your business guys but also in your own journey because this business is about your health it's about your journey so it should be a number one priority working out eating well i know it's hard it's going to be hard but it's a number one priority uh, because you can, if you want to help other people, you have to be working on you. So what kind of business out there says, you know what, we're going to pay you and we're going to pay you to get healthy and to work out. Ah, it's amazing. So make sure that you are going all in on your own journey. Share your journey. Share every step of your journey as you're going through it because people are going to wonder and uh, they're going to want to join you. So share bring some people with you. Okay. So as we get ready to start this first challenge group, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to get those people in there with you, how to take action, what that looks like. Okay. What it looks like for you. The first thing that I want to tell you, because again, remember I struggled for the first six months and a lot of coaches do, so you're not alone. You do not have to be at a certain weight. You don't have to be at a certain rank. You don't even have to have completed a full program. You could have fallen off the wagon 18 times, and this is your 19th time, and you said, okay, I'm gonna be a coach so I can stay consistent. You don't have to wait until a specific time to start sharing your journey and to start inviting people to this with you. People want to join you along the way. They don't want to see the perfect person. They want to see you struggling and they want to join you on that journey. So don't feel like you have to be at a specific weight, even if it's not your goal weight. Don't wait to start inviting, okay? You don't have to wait to start inviting. People are going to want to be with the real you, who you are, right? So I struggle all the time and I share that. So just share that and start inviting people so that they can go through this with you because it's going to make a huge difference for you. All right, I'm going to ease some fears right off the hop because everyone's like, ah, inviting. What does that mean? I don't know how to do it. And they kind of panic a little bit. We have tons of resources in this on this team, in this group for you guys. Tons of invite samples, tons of things that you can draw on from different scenarios, different language, uh, different circumstances. The idea is when you're inviting to change it so that it sounds like you. So don't, you know, it's not the best idea to grab somebody else's invite and use it if it doesn't sound like the type of language that you would use but you can use it sort of as inspiration, right? So um, you may not be the one that's like, hey girl, you wanna join it? That might not be you, right? You might just be, hey, I'm doing this thing. I really want you to join me. Um, you know, this is what it is. And, and you know, just make it your own. You really wanna just be authentic and make it your own. But we have all the tools there that you can use for inspiration and guidance, then you just have to change a few things and that will help you. So here's the thing, we're gonna take care of this first challenge group for you. We're gonna run the challenge group. You're gonna be in that group. You're gonna be interning in that group so you can see what it's all about, but you don't have to worry about running the challenge group. You don't have to worry about, what am I gonna post? What kind of content do I use? What if I forget to post? What if nobody engages? You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. We're gonna take care of that so you can focus on bringing people along on your journey. That's what you need to focus on. You don't have to do any of the other part of the coaching when you're first starting. You just have to invite people and bring them along into the journey. So if we're going all in, remember what's what I said at the beginning, we're going all in. So what you want to think about is starting now, like starting today, right? Right now, when you watch this, start today. So your call to action, your um, first action step should be putting up a post talking about what you're doing and inviting people to join you. Yes, scary. It's gonna be scary, um, but here's what I say about fear. 
actually excitement. You get the same feeling when you're excited as you do when you're afraid. So those butterflies in your stomach, that kind of like feeling, that's probably excitement. So translate that and bring it into your post. That excited feeling, not fear, that excited feeling, bring it into your post. So you, we're going to do that today. So I'm going to I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. We're going to do that today. Um, and what I want you to keep in mind, every time you kind of get that little bit of, I'm going to say excited feeling, you might say fearful um, or afraid. I'm going to say excited. Every time you get that excited feeling, think about every time you talk about the challenge group, everything, every time you talk about your journey, every time you talk about what you're doing, you are planting seeds for people. So they're going to keep watching. So if you think about your invite simply as planting a seed and um, kind of creating curiosity, it may not be so scary, right? You're just planting seeds. Listen, sometimes I've invited people seven, eight, nine times before they've actually committed. That's a reality. So it takes an average of about seven times for people to actually hear what you're saying and commit to it on average. You're going to find some people that are like, yes, I'm all in. I'm joining you. But then you're also going to find people who are going to be like, no, not right now. And you're going to get a whole ton of objections. Guess what? We have resources for that too. So we have responses to objections, tons of them for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but you're going to get tons of objections from people and that's okay. I always say go for no, right? You want people to say no because dollars to donuts. If someone's saying no to you, they're still watching you. Okay, so they're going to keep watching your journey and then you're going to invite them again when the next challenge starts and they're going to say, no, I'm still not ready, but they're probably still going to be watching you. So try when you're inviting to eliminate any sort of feeling about the response you're going to get. Almost like push play and put it out of your mind. Don't even worry about what the response is because then otherwise, if you're not getting a yes, you're going to end up getting frustrated and disappointed and that's not, we want to enjoy the journey, right? So invite for no, go for no. The more no's you get, the more people are watching. So think about that too. Try not to get too tied to um, the response from people. I have people still, I've been doing this for a year and a half um, and I still have people like, you know, when I've done this video coaching for a year and a half. And um, I still have people from when I first started inviting them, like, mm, gosh, over a year ago, who are just signing up now. So it is totally normal. Just stay the course and just keep inviting. Okay. So, um, sorry, I have notes here because otherwise like my brain goes squirrely. <laughs> um, let's talk about, um, you know, the people that you're going to invite, the kinds of people that you're going to invite. Here's the benefit of when you're just starting out. You have a whole market of friends and family that you can go to to see if they want to join you. You should start there. That's the best place to start. Start with your friends and family. So we call them the hot and warm market. Your hot market is like your close family. So your mom, your dad, your sister, your best friend, um, the people that you would call if like you were going to do a marathon and you wanted somebody to do it with you, those kind of those people. And you're going to start with them and then your warm market are just kind of people you know, um, maybe people from school, people that you were in your dorm with, that kind of thing. Um, that's, those are the people that you're going to start with. So they're people that you're comfortable with, right? So sometimes it's easy to invite those people. But here's the thing, the people that you think are going to be all in, the people that you're like, I'm going to write down five people that I know for sure are going to want to do this with me, chances are three out of that five are probably going to say no. They're going to be like, no, I am not doing that. Um, I have those people and they're still saying no, and that's okay. So the lesson in that is the people that you think are going to be like, no way, I'm not doing it, or you're afraid to ask for whatever reason because you're afraid of what their response is going to be or what they're going to think of you, those are probably the people that are going to say yes. I have so many of those people um, who actually messaged me afterwards and said, thank you so much for reaching out. This has really benefited me. Um, and I wasn't going to invite them in the first place because in my head, I thought, nope, they're for sure going to say no. They're for sure going to say no. I'll tell you a story. I went to a conference and uh, the woman that was on the stage, she was this beautiful blonde woman, um, probably like a thousand feet tall, legs for days. She looked really good. And she told us a story about how her best friend started coaching and her best friend never invited her. 
to join a challenge group because her best friend thought that she didn't need it because she looked good and she had this great life and she didn't need to coach and she didn't need to have a challenge group. She was offended that her friend never invited her because she actually really needed something like this. So you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, particularly if all you're looking at is social media because social media paints a different picture. So go for those people that you think will say no because I guarantee you, those are the people that are gonna say yes. Okay, so if you are getting no's, if you are getting lots of no's, if all you are getting are no's, you are not, I'm gonna assure you, doing anything wrong. It is totally normal. Try, it's very easy to get frustrated and disappointed. Try to not get frustrated and disappointed because that's gonna come out in your invites. Um, if you're inviting out of desperation, it's going to come out. I will encourage you, I already said it, I will encourage you, be yourself in your invites talk about um what we have to offer and talk about how it has helped you right how has it helped you what made you sign up what were the things that appealed to you those are the things that you want to talk about when you're inviting people and that's the energy that you want to bring regardless of if you've had 20 people say no okay here's the thing about what we have we have a gift to give to people right health and wellness it's timeless it's never going to go out of style which means someone always needs it you just have to be patient and find those people this is not a get rich quick scheme it's not supposed to be I really try to tie my um, my feelings about what I'm doing to the people that I'm helping as opposed to the money that I can earn so that it doesn't matter if I get out of 10 people I invite, one person sign up. If I change that person's life, that makes all the difference and eliminates the nine people that said no. And those nine people are still watching. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want to be successful, you just can't quit right? You have to keep going because successful people didn't quit. They may have fallen down a few times, but every single time they've learned from it and they've gotten up, right? It means that we're growing. So uh, just don't quit. Just keep going. Small steps taken every day consistently lead to huge results and huge impact. So make sure that you just keep going, keep inviting. That's how we're growing. So just keep doing that. Okay. So why do we say then when someone says, all right, sure, I'll talk to you about it. I'll get some more info. Like you get really nervous, right? Like you want to talk to this person and really invite them to the challenge group, but you're super nervous. That happened to me, right? I was, I was worried. Um, so I'm a lawyer by training and I was worried that I didn't have all the answers. And that was like really, I was really scared about that and not being able to answer somebody. I thought I had to know it all. Oh my goodness, you do not have to know it all. You don't have to be an expert. That's the beauty in this business. You can start right away and start inviting right away and not know everything. That's okay because you have a whole team behind you for one. Two, you have a ton of resources in this group. But three, Google is your best friend. I Google so much. So when I'm talking to somebody and I don't know the answer, it's okay to say, you know what? I really don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to go find it for you and I'm going to get right back to you, right? I think the tendency when we first start is just to sign somebody up right away to get that first win. It's okay. They're still going to be there. So, and I think that they'll appreciate that as well, that you're being genuine and you're just not kind of feeding them things, that you really are interested in the information that they're asking you and that you're willing to go and spend the time to look it up for them. So don't bombard, you know, your coaches with all your questions. Look first, because there are a ton of resources. And when in doubt, you Google it. There are FAQs in the back office. Um, and usually if you Google something Beachbody, FAQs will pop up. So just make sure you're not using somebody like another coach's information. Make sure it comes directly from um, Beachbody, from the FAQs. And then if you can't find it, just ask the coach uh, who you know, like ask your coach, your mentor, and they'll be able to give that to you. The great thing about this team as well is that we have a whole team of coaches who are here to help you. So uh, if for whatever reason you can't reach your coach, there are a whole number of people who will be able to help you find where you uh, need to go to get the answer for that person. Okay, so when we're inviting and when we're talking to people, again, I've said this before, but it's so important, be authentic. Don't be a robot. So um, talk from your heart. So when someone says, what's that Shakeology that you're drinking? Or if you're inviting somebody to try Shakeology, you know, you don't want to 
um, be a textbook, right? School's boring. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to school. So if you're just authentic and you talk about your story, people are going to be more engaged. So instead of talking about all the ingredients in Shakeology, hey guys, my breakfast shake tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> Right? Like who can have that for breakfast? Um, and it's so good for me. It gives me energy. Um, there's so many vitamins and minerals in there that I, you know, I feel like I'm boosting my immunity, like all of those kind of things, whatever, however it works for you. Talk about that. People want to know how these things, what these workouts, what the products, what they're doing for you. That's what people want to know. They don't want to know what the textbook says. They're not going to remember that, but they're going to remember the things that you said. And then when they're talking to somebody else, they're going to say, oh yeah, I remember that Tara said she drank this shake and it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. That's what they're going to remember. They're not going to remember all the ingredients that are in the Shakeology. Um, so you don't have to be a textbook. You don't have to be an expert. Don't be a robot. Um, just be you. Talk about you. Share your gift. Share your story. Share your experience. That's what people want to know. So when you are inviting and when you are talking to people, make sure it's from your heart, right? You don't have to compare yourself to the way other people are doing it because that's not necessarily going to work. You're not going to come across um, as being authentic if you're trying to be somebody else. So kind of find your way. Um, and we provide you with the tools and resources to give you confidence, right? We don't want you to feel like you're going in blind. And that's why we give you that stuff so that you can have that confidence to do it. But you really want to make it your own. That's super, super important um, for sure. And I struggled with that a little bit when I first started um, because I really just... I don't know. I couldn't, I guess I couldn't find my own way. Um, so I would encourage you to kind of really figure that out and draw on your own experience. And that's the, what I didn't do. I didn't relate it to me. I didn't think people wanted to know about me. Um, but people do, they want to know about you. So make sure that you are sharing your story. Um, okay. What else do I have here? Oh yeah. So, um, when you're talking about your story, Think about what your why is and think about um, why you wanted to coach. What did that mean to you? Maybe you are a full-time lawyer and you are working mad hours at your office and you just want to be home with your kids. You just want to be home with them and you're tired of the stress of being in that office. Um, so you will do whatever it takes to be able to quit that job and be home with your kids. Maybe that's you. And if that's you, you have to think about what you're going to sacrifice in order to make sure that you devote some time, whatever that time looks like for you. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to stay up until four o'clock in the morning, but whatever time you can build into your day, whatever that looks like for you, how are you going to spend that time in order to get you to where you want to be? And I, you know, I think about, okay, um, am I going to take that hour after dinner to watch Netflix or am I take that hour to build my business and maybe send some invites to people because I really, really, really want to get out of this job. Think about your why every time you think inviting's hard. Think about your why every time you get 10 no's and you just don't want to send any more invites because everyone's just saying no and I can't do this. Always go back to that why and think about what you're going to sacrifice in order to get you closer. So I will sacrifice a little bit of discomfort in order to get me closer to where I want to be and why I decided to do this. Okay. So again, remember, you might get a little bit uncomfortable, but all the resources are there. We are here to help you. Um, we just want to build that confidence. So we're going to do your first post, right? We're going to do your first post and... What you want to do when you're doing your first post is be super authentic, but tell your story. So I find that the people that come out and say, all right, guys, I've decided to become a health and wellness coach. People are going to stop reading. But if you start with your story, maybe a little bit of what your history is so that you could lead into why you started this journey in the first place, why you joined your first challenge group, and then talk about kind of what you're doing and then make sure there's a call to action at the end, more people are probably gonna read to the end because they're gonna wanna know your story. So make sure you're telling your story, then talk about what you're doing, and then have a call to action. Hey guys, we have this challenge group starting on such and such a day. Um, do you wanna get in on it? Drop me a heart emoji or DM me and I will get you info as soon as possible. 
and there's your first post. There's your first invite, there's your first post. So think about that. I'd love to see you do that today. Think about the picture that you're gonna post as well. Make sure it's bright. Um, make sure it's eye popping, like scroll stopping. Um, make somebody stop so that when they see that and then they see whatever your caption is, like a catchy caption, um, in your post, they're gonna stop and it's gonna make them wanna read it. So um, let's work on that today. Let's do that post. Let's get it out there. And when people respond to that post, don't worry, we have all of that training too. You can just give a short and sweet response, um, but we're gonna have all of that information for you, but it can be as simple as, hey, thank you so much for asking for information, um, you know, and for your interest um, in what I'm doing. I'm gonna get you all the tools. This is what the package comes with. Are you still interested? And if they say yes, you can send them off a graphic. We have all the graphics with everything that, you know, pricing and all of that kind of stuff. It's all in the group. So you don't have to worry about regurgitating that information and memorizing all that information. It's all here, but you'll be able to, to respond to somebody, right? If somebody's watching your stories on Instagram, if somebody is liking your post, maybe not commenting on it, but liking it, we have responses for that too, so that you can reach out and invite them, um, even if they're just kind of liking and not actually commenting and asking for information. We have information um, and responses and invites that you can send those people, okay? Um, so not only are you going to maybe do a post, but you're going to want to think about inviting through your Instagram stories as well. And there's going to be tons of social media training for you. So I'm not going to go into it here, but there are so many different ways that you can invite through your Instagram stories and your Facebook stories. So think about that as well as a means of inviting, um, as opposed to just kind of like reaching out and talking to somebody or calling them, um, or texting them or direct message. Um, you can also invite through your story. So you want to have a little bit of combination of everything. So do a post with a call to action, which you're going to do today, and then do some stories maybe, um, and then direct messaging so you can switch it up. So that's an option for you. And again, there's social media training. So I'm not going to go into that here uh, because I could talk forever. Um, okay. So when somebody decides to commit again there's going to be training on what to do what to say um, but basically all it comes down to is giving them their package options um, depending on what package they want you're going to give them their options i always mention discount coach which is basically beachbody's preferred member preferred member um, plan so they say 25 percent off we're gonna have all of that information for you but i just kind of wanted to tell you these are the next steps to inviting. And then you're going to get them all set up and in the group, send them a share a cart, get them involved and get them in the group. So purpose of this is to talk about inviting. The very first invite I want you to do is a general invite, a general post um, on your social media. So not necessarily a story, but a general post. Make sure you are yourself make sure that it's authentic, make sure you're telling your story, do it with confidence. And even if you're scared, just take imperfect action. As long as you're taking action, you are doing the right thing. If people are saying no, don't worry. That first post is a step in the right direction. So just keep going. The best thing for you is to go all in. Going all in is getting that first post in, okay? So get that first post in, make sure it has a call to action, tag your coach in that post so we can love on that post for you and get that sort of engagement going. And uh, and then we will deal with responses when people comment and like after that. So get that post in, tag your coach. We wanna love it. If you have any questions about anything in this video, make sure you reach out to your coach and we will get you the answers as soon as possible. So thank you. That was really long. I talked too much, uh, but I'm just super excited for you guys. Any questions, reach out, but go get that post done. Love you guys.